public service announcement, I wanted to take a minute to walk you through what I just found out personally with Fed Loan Servicing when I called them on the phone. If you're a person who has student loans with my Fed Loan Servicing, hang on because we're gonna talk about something really important. Esther with Adulting with Esther and today we're going to be talking about something that they definitely don't teach you in school. What to do when the coronavirus happens and your loan payments are told that they're delinquent. So I have been so proud of paying my loans on time my entire life. I have never missed a payment. I have never been late. I have never even been close to late because I pay them early or I put them on auto pay. But what just happened to me three days ago is I logged into my Fed Loan Servicing and if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you probably saw that I posted some picture with all these bubbles where I had mapped out where I was relocating all my money to try some new budgeting strategy. Super exciting. Um, but I logged in to see the status of my Fed Loan. And something about me is I'm using the PSLF Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program, which is for people who work in public service like me, a teacher. And what it's supposed to do is as long as I put 10 years worth of payments in, so 120 qualifying payments, my loan is going to be forgiven, all clear. And I need to be on an income-based repayment plan. Now, if you wanna talk about public service loan forgiveness and your pros and cons of it, um, I'm gonna do a separate video on that later. And if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and uh, click the little info card up here in the top right hand corner for you. It's got a little circle with an eye in it. Let me know if you'd like me to do a video on public service loan forgiveness, cause that's something I've been dealing with for a few years now. But back to me and what happened today. I get on my account, Fed Loan Servicing, and I log in and it hasn't taken out my payment. My auto pay is linked to my bank account and it always comes out on the first. And it says your payment is six days past due. So I'm freaking out and wondering why did auto pay not work? But luckily, and you know, I might have failed. There was one time where I was moving money around. I moved money a little bit. Um, and a payment did bounce, but I called the company right away and they were able to get that money back in and it was all taken care of. And they told me that they don't report late payments to creditors for 30 days, which was a total relief because I've worked really hard to get my credit where it is. Anyways, so I see that my payment is six days late and I immediately log into my Chase account and I push through my payment. And now in regards to the CARES Act, what I understand about it is, is at this time, they've officially made a statement that if you're doing public service loan forgiveness, it says, will suspended payments count toward public service loan forgiveness? If you have a direct loan, were on a qualifying repayment plan prior to the suspension and work full time for a qualifying employer during the suspension, then you will receive credit toward PSLF for the period of suspension as though you made on time monthly payments. Notice that there was a lot of stipulations there. And so those stipulations are the same things that we see throughout the history of public service loan forgiveness. And it's the main reason people aren't getting forgiven. They are either not on a correct payment plan and you must be on an income-based plan. Um, it must be a direct loan. And you can find that out by logging into your Fed Loan Servicing and it will say, this is a direct loan, direct, direct loan subsidized direct loan unsubsidized. And that has to do with how the interest was processed while you were in school or while you are in school. The last thing for public service loan forgiveness is you must be working for a qualified employer during the time of the suspension. And that means you've been doing your employment certifications throughout this process. So for me, I got my employment verified last March. I'm up to get my employment verified again, but because of COVID-19, my uh, human resources department hasn't been able to communicate with me and get that employment verified. So your job right now, if you are trying to make this public service loan forgiveness work, is make sure that you're meeting all of those requirements. If you weren't meeting them prior to this suspension, your payments will not count towards public service loan forgiveness. So if two weeks ago you were working for a private company and you didn't qualify for public service, and then now, after March 31st, you do qualify for public service loan forgiveness because you switched employers, your payments will not be counting toward public service loan forgiveness within this forbearance. And so let's talk about the forbearance. This forbearance plan, what it's doing, if you went in and manually checked that box to say, put me on forbearance, 
your loans are not going to count for public service loan forgiveness. I'm so sorry that happened to you. My best advice can be to call Fed Loan Servicing and I'll put the number down here at the bottom. Now, if you didn't do anything like me because I thought they weren't going to count, luckily I'm gonna be okay. And so I called today because I was freaking out because I got another letter and I'm gonna share this letter with you. And it's here's what it said. You are receiving this letter because you are an Illinois resident and you are the borrower of this and it tells me that my loans were five days late. And again, I knew that, I told you that a minute ago. And the purpose is to communicate to you that this debt is actually yours. And that really freaked me out. So I logged back onto Fed Loan Servicing and I was able to see on their main page what is going on right now is that they have manually put everybody within my Fed Loan Servicing on forbearance. So what that means is if you have an account with my Fed Loan Servicing, your loan should have been put on forbearance. When they put it on forbearance on March 31st, that canceled all auto pay. And so here's the way that you can actually get more money in your pocket and save money on your loan on the life of your loan. This suspension plan, what it's doing is it's putting everybody on forbearance for six months until September. So you will not have to pay any student loans through my Fed Loan Servicing through September. And forbearance means that they're also not gaining any interest. So if you're like me and you're on the plan for public service loan forgiveness, where I know I've always had to make 120 qualifying payments, yes, I still need to make them, but six of those payments are gonna be zero dollars. So as long as you didn't manually check that forbearance box and you are on public service loan forgiveness, and even if you're not, that's fine. Your loan, whatever plan you're on, that's fine. This is just for PSLF. Think about how you're gonna spend your money. You might wanna be investing it, or maybe you wanna put it towards a, a private loan you have. I have a private loan, and heads up, if you have a private loan, private loans are not being forgiven right now. Their interest is still in effect, and their payment requirements are still in effect. They are not being forbeared. You can call, and if you're experiencing a hardship right now, if you were let go for whatever reason, furloughed, you can request the manual forbearance, but that will, just push your payments back, you will still have to pay them. So unless you are in a financial situation in which you can no longer pay your loans, I suggest you keep paying. But for the MyFed loan servicing ones, we just got six months, no loan payments. So everybody celebrate. Woo! All right, friends, if you have any questions, you can comment down below. If you got value out of this video, I mean, I know I got value. I just spent 20 minutes on the phone with them. It was so exciting to hear. But if you got value, you know the drill. Like it, thumbs up, let me know what you think. Um, and subscribe down below. And when you click that red subscribe button, there's a little gray alarm that pops up and you can assign yourself to get alerts regularly every time I post videos. Um, I know this video is super informal and last minute, but I wanted to make sure everybody learned that new information that I learned. Because again, this is something that I definitely did not learn in any of my schools. So. Keep it real, y'all.